Hello dear friends. Have you ever seen a squirrel? It's such a small creature, yet a very hard working and quick. It's a charm to see him run around, or eating nuts. We often run behind it, but it likes to tease us, and runs the other way. Its color, its tail and its naughty habits attract us. In the poem, The Squirrel, the poet tells us about a squirrel, and also tries to instill an aesthetic feeling and love for nature in us. Mildred Bowers earned her bachelor's degree from Northwestern University in 1923, she also studied at Mount Holyoke College, the University of Chicago, and the University of Wisconsin. Bowers titled her first volume of poetry, Twist O' Smoke, after the pseudonym she used in college. Twist O' Smoke won the 1928 Yale Younger Poets Prize and was published by Yale University Press. Bowers also published verse in periodicals under her married name, Mildred Armstrong. In the poem The Squirrel the poet Mildred Bowers Armstrong describes a squirrel that he observes in his garden. The poet describes how the squirrel covered in grey fur, sits in an upright position on a tree branch eating a nut. His tail looks like a question mark because of its bent shape. The happy and lively squirrel loves to play with the poet and her friends. Whenever they ran around his tree, he would run to the other side of the tree. The poet tells about the nature of the squirrel that it is innocently naughty and likes to tease anyone who comes near him. The poet tells us about the nature of the squirrel, that it is innocently naughty and likes to tease anyone who comes near him. The squirrel poem is written by Mildred Bowers Armstrong in which the poet wants to tell that how a squirrel wants to tease the human by the help of nuts. In the first line of the poem, the poet relates the tale of the poem to a question mark as its shape resembles to that of a question mark. Then she describes the color of his body as if the squirrel wears an overcoat of grey. She further states that squirrels love to eat nuts and to eat a nut he sits on his hind legs, keeping the body in an upright position. Whenever the poet and her friends try to catch the squirrel, he tries to run the other way. This shows the playful and naughty nature of the squirrels who is trying to tease and play with the children, 